Okay, well that worked. So today we're at the the pig pen stand. You can see it's set up for a bow. During the day it's pretty backlit, so obviously we just shoot at night. This is, like I said, for pigs. The reason it's a pig pen is this is an old cattle pen. If you can see down there. We used to hold cows in here, but we haven't used it in years. I see somebody has taken some post out and stuff, but you can see the reason I'm set up inside is because the cows are here all the time. So the reason there's corn everywhere, I try to use corn coat on my corn. And for some reason, this little this little controller from Moultrie didn't do well with corn coat. Because corn coat actually it sticks. You can see it's the it's the white residue. If you can see that white residue everywhere. And I've been trying this for about a month. And it just it, it makes it lock up. It only uses this four AA batteries. So what I did, I just poured it out. You can still see a little bit of the white on there. And that corn coat, it makes the corn sticky, so it, it, it makes the controller lock up. And I really like this controller. It's really inexpensive, and it works really good. I mean, you can set it any way you want, and I really haven't had much trouble with it. But I changed batteries and everything like that, thinking, okay, it's, it's a battery issue. But no, it's the corn. I have another feeder that I had the same issue. Dumped all the corn out, put fresh corn in it with nothing on it. Works perfectly. So, I really like the stand. I moved a little bit closer this time because I'm a terrible shot. Uh, so I'm going to try to bring the um, recurve bow out. I had my friend come and he blasted one with his uh, compound. So it's been about, I don't know, a couple of weeks. So they're starting to come back in now. So we'll feed them out, see what they do. You get some pretty decent pictures from the, from the little Moultrie cam. Another inexpensive thing that's really worked well. So... We'll see how it works. Hopefully we'll get some good images and I'll be able to come hunt. I don't like staying up till 2 o'clock in the morning, so I'm waiting for them to come in just after dark, you know, because I'm lazy that way. Okay, so that's all I know about corn coat. Um, it just didn't really work really well in these feeders because they're low voltage. I'm sure if I had 12 volt feeders that, that had high amperage and things like that, motor, you know, high amperage motors in them, I'm sure it worked fine. But for these uh, lightweight using four double A's, it's just it's too sticky and it won't it won't uh, disperse the corn very well. So I've gone back to just clean corn. You can see how fast it spins with just the clean corn, and it works just fine. So for me, it didn't work, and I didn't really see an uptake in the number of deer, not bucks or does or anything. In fact, I saw actually less in in two places that I use this. So it didn't work out for me in South Texas, but hey, maybe it works really great in other places. Um, I wouldn't rule it out. I mean, if you, if you, if I did something wrong or you have an idea of a better way to use the, the corn coat, let me know. Um, I'm game to try anything. But that's all I know for now. See ya. Oh, everybody's a critic.